Hey YouTube, it's me Key, and I'm back with another video. Today's video is going to be a story time. Yes, a story time. I know I haven't done a story time in a minute, but I want to get back into my story times because I have so many stories I have to tell y'all. Like, so many juicy, so many sad stories, funny stories, whatever. All right, I got it. But today's story time is going to be about the time I met this sleazy creep cornball dude yeah so let's get into the story so we're gonna call him sleazy and he's being called sleazy for obvious reasons okay y'all gonna learn throughout the story so this is back when i was temporarily staying in vegas and i had went to go get my oil change in my car so i had my two boys with me and we had ended up getting out like usually i'll just sit in the car while i got my oil change but my kids was being wild so i'm like let me get out and let them just you know run around and play for a little while tire themselves out so by the time we get home they can eat have a bath go to bed because it was like it was around seven i believe it was getting late so we got out and um i was letting them play and during the time we were outside while my boys were playing another car had pulled up and it was sleazy and his brother so they were getting their oil their oil changed too so Sleazy had got out and he was smoking or whatever. But um, when he was finished smoking, he walked up to me. He just started talking to me, you know, just saying I was pretty and like the usual. Are you from around here and blah, blah, blah. So he told me he was from Cali. Red flag number one. I'm sorry, y'all, but every guy that I meet from Cali, they're all the same. Like, I'm ready for somebody to prove me different because every dude from L.A. that I met is the same. So, yeah, he was just telling me he's from Cali and, like, he was just out. He just moved out to Vegas and, like, he wants to know more about me and blah, blah, blah. So, um, we had ended up exchanging numbers. Like, I ain't gonna lie, I really, you know, he wasn't my type. Like, I really wasn't attracted to him, but, like, I didn't know nobody in Vegas at the time. So, I'm like, why not make some friends? So, I was, you know, being dumb, I guess. So, um, our car was finished at the same time. And we ended up, like, pulling off around the same time. So, as soon as we pulled off, Sleazy texted me. He was just saying, like, he wanted to come see me that same day. And I ran flag number two. And I was just telling him, like, no, you can't come see me. Like, I have kids. I wouldn't feel comfortable with you coming over and like, I just met you, like, I don't know anything about you. He was just like, no, no, it's cool. Like, I'll bring something, I'll bring some food, I'll bring some to drink for the kids, like some candy, whatever. Like, I won't even go in. And I was like, hmm, I, I don't know. But he just kept pushing and pushing. I was like, fine, whatever. Like, I was staying in the weekly anyways because I didn't find a place yet. And I didn't even know if I wanted to stay out there. So I was like, yeah, I'll let him pull up. You know, if he's weird, I can just move like I usually do. Just like the last situation with my baby daddy. He did some weird stuff and I ended up just leaving. So, yeah, I was like, yeah, you can pull up. You can't come in, though. You can just talk to me outside for a little while. He was like, all right, well, I'm going to go to the store and, like, what you want to eat. Like, he just asked me what we wanted, what the kids like. And so I told him, he was like, I'm going to be there about an hour. I was like, cool. So, hour goes by and... He pulls up. So I go outside. He hands me the stuff and I take it back in the house. Sorry, y'all. So I take it back in the house. And I come back outside. He was just being like, <sighs> what? How, how should I put this? Like, he was just saying how he wanted to stay the night and he just wanted to be. I don't want to go into much detail because I don't know if YouTube gonna play my video or whatever, but he was just. Basically saying he wanted to be intimate with me. Like, and I was saying, no, like, well, hell no. Like, what you thinking? He was like, well, I, can I just give you some? Y'all put two and two together. Y'all know exactly what I'm saying. I'm like, no, I'm cool. I don't know where your mouth been. I don't know you. So he just kept pushing and kept pushing. And I was just, just like, you know, I'm tired. I'm going to go in the house. Like, what you going to do? He was like, all right, well, um, can I see you again? I was like, I don't know. Just, just hit me up. So he ended up not even staying that long. Girl, what? I'm saying girl like I'm talking to like talking to one of my friends or something, but 
why he hit me up after he left asking can he come back to say that i'm like is this is he stupid or is he dumb like what part don't he understand i don't know like he was he was getting on my nerves because he kept just being pushy and i don't like that like that gives me you know never mind i'm not even gonna say what i was thinking like this is youtube so like he ends up leaving and then like he and I, like, we didn't see each other again until, like, maybe, maybe, like, two weeks later. Because I didn't want to talk to him. I thought he was pushy. He was annoying. And he was just getting on my nerves. So, one time, like, I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> he kept saying he wanted to see me. And I was just like, hmm, this is, you know, a good time. Because one time, I didn't have no milk for my son. And at the time, he was taking, uh, he was drinking toddler milk. So, I'm like, dang, I got no milk for him. And I'm broke right now. Like, <laughs> what I was going to do? <laughs> and I can't find my car. <laughs> you know, my little bit of a car. And I can't find it. Like, what am I going to do? So, he had hit me. And I was, he was like, what you doing? I'm just like, oh, nothing. Like, I'm just, you know, trying to figure out what I'm going to do. My son, he needs some milk. This is and that. I'm just running on him. So, he's like, oh, okay. Well, um. What kind of milk your son drink? Like, I could go get him some milk for you. I was like, oh, for real? You would really do that for me? He's like, yeah, yeah, it's no problem. So, he said he lived, like, I don't, he lived in, I highly doubt he ever watched my videos, but everybody gonna know who I'm talking about in a way. So, he had told me he lived in Henderson, and Henderson was pretty far from where I stayed at. So, um, he was like, just come meet me by my apartment. So, I pulled up in his apartment, and he had me follow him to the Target. So he was like, yeah, just follow me to the Target and I'll go in there and I'll get your baby some milk. I was like, cool. So <laughs> I follow him to the Target, y'all. I follow him to the Target. And then like he parks, he told me, he said, don't get out. He's like, wait in the car. I was like, all right, I'll wait. We in the car for like a good 20 minutes. I'm like, Target must be back because it don't take nothing just to go in the store and, you know, get some baby milk, but he must be shopping for himself. I don't know. So I'm waiting and then y'all okay he comes out the store and he goes to his car but I'm watching him because I'm like I'm parked on the side and I'm like okay why don't he just give me the milk but like I don't think I have my glasses on because I could see him but I couldn't really see if he had anything in his hand or what so I see him going to his car and I'm looking at him he gonna tell me why are you looking at me I'm like huh Y'all, tell me why he pulled he pulled some baby milk from under his shirt, y'all, and tried to throw it in the car. This man went in the store and stole my baby's milk. And I was like, what the? <laughs> like, you want to see me that bad? You go in the store and steal my son some milk? Like, you could have just said you ain't got you ain't got it, you know? But I'm just like, damn, like, it's that serious, huh? okay so he was just like yeah i couldn't find my card so you know I, I had to i had to steal it i'm like okay well thank you i appreciate it so i got my milk and i left and he was just telling me like um later on that night he was like yeah i'm with my brothers and my homies like what what you doing we we trying to i'm trying to see you you want to kick it with us we trying to function and i'm like no i'm good so me and him, like, we didn't see each other again, but we would just text here and there because I didn't want to, like I said, he was annoying. He was very pushy, and I didn't like that about him. So, um, he had hit me up one day, and he was like, well, what are you doing? I'm like, um, I'm about to go back to Arizona because it's my son's birthday. I'm going to throw him a birthday party. I'm not going to have it in Vegas. If I don't know nobody, I don't have any family here. So, he was like, oh, okay, well, um, you know, I just really want to be with you. I want to come to Arizona too like I want to come to the birthday party I was like okay I mean you can't ride with me or nothing like you can you can come to Arizona I can't stop you from coming to Arizona and it's cool you can come to the party if you want to but I mean you can't ride with me you gotta drive your own car he was like yeah I'll drive myself I want to come out there like for real I, would, I just want to be with you like I really like you just talking all this bullshit y'all just talking I'm like oh my god this boy but um I told him he could come and then y'all tell me why this man no 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 rewind rewind 
actually before my son's birthday. Was it before? Yeah, before my son's birthday. He was just telling me like he, he was on gas or whatever. I was like, well, damn, that's all bad. This was after he had, you know, stole the milk from my baby. He was just like, yeah, you know, I'm trying to get, you know, trying to give me some money and stuff like that. And I was like, you know what? I'll send you $20 just because, you know, you looked out for me when I didn't have no money. And my baby, he really needs some milk. So it's like, I'll send you $20. That's me just being, you know, he did that for me. That was really nice. Like, I didn't know how I was going to give my baby some milk. And he really looked out for us, you know. So it was nothing for me to give him that $20. So let's fast. Well, let's go back to the point where I said my son was having his birthday party. So yeah, I told him he can come. I can't stop him from going from going to Arizona, but he just couldn't ride with me. And he was just like, it's cool. Like, I don't mind driving out there, driving in my car. I just want to be with you and I want to go to the birthday party. I was like, whatever. So y'all tell me about this man. He was just like, well, but I don't have no money. So I'm like, okay, well, you ain't going then. He's like, well, could you give me $50? I'm like, hell no. Like, what do I look like? The fuck? Do I look like an ATM to you? Like, what, what makes you think I'm going to break you off some money? He was like, well, it's just $50. I said, so what? And did you not hear me say that I'm throwing a birthday party for my son? He was like, it's just $50. Like, can you give me $50 so I can, that $50 will help me make some money. Like, that's not my problem. Boy, get off my phone. Like, so I hung up on him. Like, the fuck I look like? So he just kept like, y'all, this man kept blowing up my phone. He kept blowing up my phone. I was just like, what, Sleazy? What do you want? Um, Just just please, baby, please. Can I get $50? I, it's going to help me make some money. Just please, baby, please. Just He just kept begging and begging and begging. So I hung up on him. Like, I don't know. You, no means no. You keep going and going and going and going. So he texted me nonstop, please, just $50. He called me off different numbers, texted me off different numbers. I'm like, this motherfucker is crazy. He's broke as hell. He's pushy. He's annoying. Like, what the hell? Like, I was so irritated. I was so fucking irritated, y'all. So he finally, like, gave up after, like, a few days. He finally gave up. And then maybe like a week or two later, I'm dumb, y'all. I don't know. This was a while ago, so I'm nothing like I was before. He got called me again. It was just like, hey, baby, like, I really want to be with you. I want to come to Arizona and see you. <laughs> I'm just laughing like, boy, you ain't for real. You, can, you, you was just begging me for $50 a couple weeks ago. He's just like, no, I got some money. So I go on Snapchat. He got money, y'all. <laughs> he got this big ass, um... Cuban link chain on you just doing it. I'm like, oh, okay, I see he got a little money now. Okay, what what the hell did happen in two weeks? So he was just like he wanna come see me or whatever, cause he going back to California, but he wanna come be with me before he go back to Cali. I was like, cool, come out here. So y'all, like, I don't give him my address. I give him the address to the store that's by my house in Arizona. So I'm like, just meet me up there and then you can follow me to my house. He's like, okay, baby, but I'm like a few hours away. Just wait on me. I'm like, yeah, I'm at the house, you know, chilling. Just let me know when you close. So this man calls me maybe, he's probably checking in like every 45 minutes or an hour. So he's checking in. I'm like, where are you at now? He's just like, oh, I'm, I'm this amount of time away, this amount of time away. And then he's telling me he's driving by, uh, what's that, that place called where everybody go for spring break? Lake Havasu. I'm like, you're driving by Lake Havasu. You're nowhere near my house. And so I'm like, what's the address you put in? He told me, I said, boy, that is not the address I gave you. Y'all tell me why he starts yelling on the phone. He's like going off of me. I was like, do you know me? <laughs> is this not my fault you put the address in wrong? So he just going the opposite direction. And I hung up and I never heard from him again. Like, that's not my fault. You put the address in wrong, I don't know what you did, but hey, that's on you. So, like, I just, you know, seen on Snapchat that he was back in Cali with his, oh, yeah, y'all, he had a lot of kids. He had a lot of kids. And he's probably, like, two years older than me, but he had a lot of kids. And he had older kids, too. So, that kind of threw me off a little bit. But I ain't talked to him no more. I'm glad I finally got rid of him. He's a weirdo. He's pushy. 
and I don't deal with that. And like, you're not gonna be asking me for no money. Like, I don't, I don't pay dudes. I don't do that kind of stuff. Like, I gave you twenty dollars just off the strength of you helping me out when my baby needs some milk. But you're not gonna beg me for no for no money. Men don't do shit like that. But yeah, that's it for this story. Um, we did learn a lesson. Quit giving your number out to weirdos. That's the lesson that I learned. But <laughs> I never talked to Sleazy again. I have a lot more crazy stories about these weirdos but um i do appreciate y'all for watching this story well, i'm sorry i don't know if it was long enough but i hope y'all enjoyed it if you haven't already please like comment and subscribe thanks for watching